All right, y'all, moving on. Uh, Wendy Williams is saying that she, the Wendy Williams Show, will be back in September. Now, watch this clip provided uh, by TMZ of Wendy giving people the news. God, you look so healthy. The Wendy Williams Show lives forever. I love you more. So will you be back on, um, back on in September? Yes, no, yes. yourself. Yes, yes, back on in September. Yes. And um, shout out to that's uh, Fox Soul's very own Jason Lee. Now he was out in New York with Wendy, took her out, and I, he did put a post up saying, how y'all going to cover the Met Gala and all the goings on and not cover that Wendy was out making an appearance. Now, the details are very unclear uh, about, you know, especially since Sherry Shepard's new talk show will, will in fact air in uh, Wendy's old time slot. What are y'all's thoughts on this announcement? Do you think she's got to deal with another network? Is this wishful thinking? Is it just something we just don't know yet? Al, what do you think? What's the tea? Oh, first of all, I'm just glad to see that she's healthy. She looked good. You know, she had on a beautiful dress. Her hair and makeup looked flawless to me. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I got to be honest with you, though, Claudia. I took it as she was just talking. But I know that Wendy Williams is very calculated when she's out in public. She knows everything that she's doing and she knows that everything that she says is going to be covered. So I'm just going to have to go back to what I said earlier, which was remember I said the word on the street was that there was allegedly a huge podcast deal that was coming down um, for Wendy and I think maybe this could be it. If it's not that, then maybe the undercurrent of us hearing about her joining The View, maybe that could be it. I really don't think Wendy would have said something like that if there wasn't something in the making. And I'm excited. I'm excited for her to get back to doing what she does best, and that is covering hot topics and talking her junk. All the people have been filling in. There's been some great ones, some fun ones, but it's just, it is definitely a void without Wendy in her shady, but, you know, kind of fun delivery. I mean, call it what it was, but there's an absence. There's a void. Q, what do you think about this? You think she's coming back or not? Well, I'm more concerned with if Jason Lee had to pay the bill or not when they hung out because her money all sold up with Wells Fargo. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, he got it now. He got it. He got it. Oh, she got it. She got it untied up. They don't untied say up. Jason got it. Jason oh, got it. Well, I know he got it, but don't nobody want to be paying for somebody all night long every time we go out because your money tied up. And oh, you, my God. Now you owe me $10,000 in dinners. Um, to Al's point, Wendy, they look like they had just left the steakhouse. Wendy had a couple glasses of wine. Wendy looked like she was just talking and having fun. Um, right. I know enough about the world to know that we definitely have not seen the end of Wendy Williams in a media capacity. Now, whether or not she's got some deal that's signed, sealed, and delivered coming September, who knows? Um, but to Al's point, I'm glad she is doing well. Her lymphedema ain't acting up no more. Um, she and not, she don't got dementia. She obviously looked look like she knew where she was going, either that or Jason Lee was her caretaker one. Uh, either way, she looked like she doing well running the streets in New York. So hats off to Wendy. I tell you what, though, I mean, it, you know, Jason is such a power broker these days and have been for a long time. She may pop up and do something on his podcast platform. Isn't he? Isn't he? Over, he's, I know that he works with us here at Fox. So, but isn't he over at iHeart Unlocked? Isn't that a part of a high no, iHeart deal that he does? He's always in talks with his other show. So I don't know if he's still with iHeart, but I think that they want him. There's some other big players that definitely want him. Um, okay. I will say this. When you see her out like this. I mean, yes, it was a short clip. It wasn't super long, but it doesn't really support the narrative that she's such in dire straits that she can't host no. a talk show. There's way, there's people that are in way worse shape. They said doing she television had dementia. Than acting. They hmm? said she had dementia. They said her lymphedema was acting up. They, they made it seem like the lady was bedridden in a steely prostopedic somewhere with a bedpan next to her, waiting on somebody to bring her some jello. That lady looked fine. I, I told y'all a long time ago, them people was lying on Wendy. And it's given that, fake news. It's given fake news. None of that stuff was going, the, the lady had dementia. She don't even know, know her producing people. She don't know <laughs> the people at the door. She can't, can't wipe her ass. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, lying on that lady. You know what? They're doing the same thing to her that they did to Hillary Clinton. Remember that? They were saying how sick she was and she could barely stand up. They, you know, they kept you. I mean, she's not a young lady and she's out there running around campaigning. It's like they made it seem like she was just like one foot in the grave. And it's like, clearly we see with our own eyes. It is not as bad as they tried it. So there is more to this story. That's all I'm saying about it.